My name is Faina Duke. I moved from Russia when I was six years old, but consider Stanford my home. I actually grew up in a public housing complex on the east side of Stanford. As I was growing up, there was always a disconnect between what I experienced as a low-income person and what I was seeing in terms of public art. So this project came about as a way to try to bridge that gap between what is in the public space in Stanford and in general and kind of the experience that I and, and others like me have and had growing up. Hi, my name is Sofia Vasilik, and I'm the sister of Faina Duke, the organizer of this show. I also helped her organize a little bit, and I did this painting, uh, The Shadow. Uh, the river is the river of death, and on the other side of it is like a suburban house. It sort of represents that you have to cross, you have to basically die to reach paradise, which is the suburban house. It shows how little mobility there is. Growing up in a lower-income neighborhood, it seemed like like a dream, like a very far-off dream. And then I went to college, and I achieved my dream basically by moving out of the out of the projects. So I feel that this dream was achievable, and that this this river shouldn't really exist there. But I feel like there is there is mobility, but I feel like there isn't enough of it. My name is Tiamara Carvedongo. I am a Stanford High School alumni and graduated in 2012. This piece is called The Crack. It's a classroom. We see a classroom from far away, but there's a big separation and a big crack in between the classroom and where I, and when the person is standing that does not allow us to cross over to where education is. Education can be denied just because of our social status in the United States. My name is uh, Jerry Montoya. We kind of like do not pay attention to inequality itself. We kind of try to ignore it and pretend that we didn't see what we did see. So... The figures in these pieces are kind of like abstract and in the moment as if you were walking by and you see someone getting manhandled and pushed down, pressed down, but you really don't care about the situation. You think none of my business, basically. One of the figures is getting pressed down to a police car and it has a yellow police tape that says, police line, do not cross. My name is Isabel Gomez, or Izzy. I'm a senior. And my work is called uh, Green is the Color of Wand. And it's about, like, the aftermath of jealousy. So there's a woman um, with a bandana covering her mouth and nose. And she's sort of, like, looking back, like, really, like, jealous, like. And it says um, a quote by Rumi, the poet. Brooding jealousy is the inevitable consequence of love. Uh, my name is Rudy Granillo. I'm grade 9. What inspired me to do this painting is I saw... There was this man just sitting next to a restaurant, and he was just eating from, like, the dumpster. But when I saw next to it, I saw people with suits and ties eating, like, vegetables and fruits and other things, but while the other man is just trying to look for scraps of food in the dumpsters. I, I didn't think it was very fair that this could happen. What I thought at the time was that everything was balanced and that there wasn't this this difference between the rich and the poor. I didn't think that the poor would live like this in real life, like in the movies. I, I never knew it was, that it actually could happen.